So just yesterday, I dropped a video on notorious internet degenerate gambling streamer Bossman Jack, and in it I talked about how, you know, he doesn't treat his parents very well, he has a past of being, like, arrested for different things like breaking into cars, and also that he is a crackhead. And so shortly after uploading yesterday's video, all three of those things ended up biting Jack in the ass tremendously. Now, with the title of the video, you can probably tell already what this is going to be about, but before we get to that, he had a big meltdown stream just earlier that day. And actually, it's more like a series of different meltdown streams because it keeps happening over and over again. You see, he's playing this, like, Minesweeper-type game at first, and honestly, it looks like it would be pretty easy for a while, but then he just keeps getting loss after loss after loss, and then eventually that classic Jack, <laughs> that Jack rage comes out. Oh my god, f*** you. I can't just have a f***ing good night ever. DUDE! You f***ing scamp dude! You know, a few bombs in the minesweeper fields and uh, a few broken keyboards wasn't enough to stop Jack, because after a few more juicers, you know, juicers are what people give Jack to let him keep gambling. They donate him a little bit, and then he can use that money to try to build his winnings. It never really works out like you're about to see here, but Jack was right back at it. He was optimistic that he'd get another win, and for a while there, he does get a few. But then in that classic tried-and-true boss man Jack fashion, he... <laughs> <laughs> he bungles all of it. Yo! Yeah! Yo! Let's go! Let's go, boys! Bansky! One grand, bitch! One grand in the bed! Oh my god, two bands! Yo! Oh my god! Let's go! Let's go, guys! This is so sad. Man, my life, dude. Oh my god, dude! Oh. So, I mean, as you can see, he is just losing it constantly here. And he's not losing, like, tens of thousands of dollars like we talked about in yesterday's video. He's only losing hundreds here, and yeah, that's still a lot. But for Jack, this this really isn't much. It's just been accumulating so much. Because ever since he won that 200 grand a few weeks ago, he has not had, like, any types of luck. And obviously, when you're someone who gambles as much as him, this is now constantly eating at him in his head, telling him that these companies aren't letting him win because they let him win so fat just a few weeks ago and you know what he's probably not too wrong in that assessment but i digress that's not the point no matter what you can't be getting this angry to the point where you're breaking shit and just losing your mind like this but if you think it's the last time even in this video alone well you would be sadly mistaken because jack jack goes right back to it he's playing more of this minesweeper game and eventually he's gonna lose he's gonna lose it and then he's going to go on this weird rant where he, he kind of predicts and calls like everything about himself right before he gets arrested here. Uh, Jack says that he's a drug addict, he's a degenerate, he's a parent abuser, which really all this, all this comes full circle in just a few short hours after this stream. But I want to show you it and just, just let you see how Jack kind of calls his shot. They fucking hate me. I hate my life too, dude. I'm a loser, bro. I fucking hate my life, dude. Oh my. You're gonna, dude, I'm gonna have the biggest comeback story of, of all time, bro. The fucking drug addicted, gambling addicted, degen, parent abusing, fucking whatever, comes back and becomes a great person and accepts his, I'm telling you guys, man, this is just the start, dude. It's just the start, man. Everyone nowadays acts like they got their shit together. Have you guys noticed in our generation, everybody acts like they got their shit together. They're so cool, calm, collected. They got all their shit together until you fucking say something to them. And then guess what happens? Guess what happens, guys? They fucking show their real truth, their real side. And well, shortly after that stream, Jack sure as hell showed his true side because he got in a fight with somebody in his household. We don't know exactly who yet, but a lot of people are speculating that it was that old dastardly rat dad of his. It could have been his brother. You know he knocked him out before. Uh, it, it could have been his mom, and I really hope that's not the case. That's just, if that's the 
that that would be terrible, you know. But Jack, you know, he's facing a lot of jail time for this. And you might be wondering why he got arrested for misdemeanor assault. Well, he also got arrested for felony drug charges. This is where the whole crackhead thing comes back into play. Because whatever Jack had on him, it was enough to be classified as a felony. I don't know if this was just some pot... And I only wonder that because of the jail he's in right now, which again, we will get to in just a little bit, because some of you guys might already be typing away at the comments about this jumpsuit Jack is in right now. You see, because if you're somebody who's like new to the channel here, or maybe you're just watching this video because you follow Bossman Jack's story and you want to know what's going on with his arrest, um, you might not know why this is so significant. However, if you've been watching my videos for about two to three years now, you will recognize this prison outfit. And if you're like kind of scratching your head right now, it's like, wow, well, man, I've seen this before, but where have I? <laughs> well... It just so happens that Boss Man Jack is at Central Regional Virginia Prison, whatever it was called. I'm sorry I don't remember the name, but guess what? It's the jail that Chris Chan went to when he boinked his mother almost three years ago. Now, it's, we're coming up on the anniversary of that, which is just terrifying that it's been that long. Um, but it's, it's wild to see somebody else donning those prison colors, and it's not Chris Chan, but it's old crack man Jack, and he... he he looks just so so out of it in this this mug shot here it's mainly because his eyes are closed now i did too high for stupid the podcast i do every week with kiwi tapes and he brought up a great point last night why did they just let this happen i've never seen them like i've never seen them process somebody and then let them take their mug shot with their eyes closed but maybe i'm wrong uh jack maybe jack sneezed during it who knows but they could have taken another picture they didn't this is what we got now but it's fascinating to see him in the same jail that Chris once was in, and uh, Jack's going to have a lot of time to really ponder his life, think about what he's done, and <laughs> maybe get away from that crack, man. Being in jail is probably the best thing for him. Look, this gambling and all that, it's clearly given him such bad anger issues, worse than he probably ever had. Him breaking his, uh, his keyboards like that, going nuts like we saw on the stream here today, he's clearly been going through it with the stress of losing all his money, and the drug use is only further amplifying that. And now, he assaulted somebody in his household, that got him arrested, and on top of that, they found the drugs at his house, and that's what's going to get him the real time. Uh, we don't know yet how much time Jack is going to serve, but it's possible that he could be serving up to five years. And that would be a crazy, a crazy end to this boss man Jack story. I don't know if we've seen the end of this guy, but this is definitely a situation where, like, there, there's no winning here. He's been terrible to his family for the longest time. He just stays under their roof, wins a bunch of money that could clearly get him out of there, and even change his and their lives, yet he always pisses it away on another spin on the wheel or whatever he's playing at the moment. And Jack now is reaping what he sowed, because you can't, you can't just destroy your parents' house, abuse people around the house, just because you're getting angry over your gambling addiction. These are all things that Jack has done to himself. Yes, addiction can be a, a cruel motherfucker. I know that firsthand. But look, Jack did all of these things himself. The drugs didn't make him hit anybody. The drugs didn't make him put millions of dollars into stake. And a lot of people say that me saying millions is like far off. That's not true. I mean, technically, he has won millions. And instead of taking some of that out, he put it all back in. And he hasn't like he hasn't taken out a dime, I don't think. If he did, he would not, he wouldn't be scrounging, begging people for any types of money they can give him to keep on gambling. He's not in any well place right now, and jail is probably the best place for him. He can get off the crack, he can try to, like, fix his life up, and maybe, maybe it'll be for the best for Jack. But who knows, only time will tell with this story. But having another person in the Virginia jail system, it's really weird. It kind of feels like deja vu. I feel like the next thing we know, he's going to be sitting on his Turkish prayer rug, writing letters out to the public talking about how he's been playing quarters with his cellmate. That gambling addiction is not going to leave him. He's going to find ways to do that in jail. And sure enough, knowing Jack's luck, he's going to have nothing else to gamble with but, uh, 
but but certain i'm not even going to get into it but jack be careful in jail buddy i know you're never probably going to hear this maybe you will in like five years when you get out but be safe old boss man i i don't really want to see the worst for jack i know we cover a lot of creeps on this channel and yet yeah, jack assaulting his family is not like doesn't make me go wow really good for you jack but the dude the dude needs to get some help he needs to stop doing whatever the fuck drugs he's doing and again i know i sound like a broken record but i think this jail stint is gonna do nothing but good for him because jack jack's been going down a slippery slope and if you need to know anything more about that go watch the video i did on him yesterday it'll be down in the link in the description below along with colonel rat's channel who like all these videos you've been seeing today from me and other people a lot of them wouldn't be possible without people like colonel rat so big shout out to him he's been clipping jack and if you want to go back and see any of jack's biggest rages that channel will be great for you guys it's uh again it's going to be interesting to see where it goes from here but when more updates about jack's arrest come out you'll be able to find it right here or over on too high for stupid when we go live every wednesday at 6 30 p.m eastern time and until then that's really all i got for y'all today i did want to make this update video because it felt like yesterday's video was kind of left incomplete without it so i'm going to label this a part two and i hope you guys enjoyed it i have a lot more videos coming out and being planned for the next few days next few weeks so i hope you guys stick around if you're new and enjoy them and until next time i am out of here hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next one take care